Hello everybody and welcome back to A Swift Look. I'm Zoe and today we are diving into everything Travis Kelsey said about going to the Eras Tour, being in Paris, what his future plans are for the summer on his podcast this week with Jason Kelsey. Okay, let's jump right in because once again, Travis Kelsey is just being absolutely incredible in terms of how he is navigating this very public, very talked about relationship that he has with Taylor Swift. I think I've said this on this show before, whenever Travis and Jason do their podcast every week, they do such a great job of acknowledging Travis's relationship about talking about instances that were public of Taylor and Travis, but never sharing too much, never overstepping, never revealing anything that we would be surprised to know or that would be considered private. Like they just always do such a great job. And as we know, and as we've discussed on this show, Travis was at the final night of the Paris Eras Tour shows. And so naturally, because it was public, because it was out there, Jason and Travis talked about it on their episode this week. And I have to also give a lot of credit to Jason Kelsey, who knows how to ask. It's like one thing for a reporter or a journalist to ask Travis these questions, but when it's coming from Travis's brother, I feel like I feel like it's more just more of a comfortable experience for Travis in general. And like he feels more comfortable opening up about the experience because he knows he's just talking to his brother. And like his brother would never put him in a position where he would feel uncomfortable or like it would be maybe not the best thing to share or whatever. So we're gonna get into everything Travis said, talked about. Um, First things first, he just gave so much praise to not only Taylor Swift, but to everybody involved in the Eras Tour. So when Jason asked about going to the show in Paris, this is what Travis said. I had a blast at Tay's show. Her new rendition of the Eras Tour, I suggest everybody go see it. It has her new Tortured Poets Department, a handful of those songs in the new show which means there's a new segment, new lights, new dancing, everything. I enjoyed every bit of it. We love a supportive king. We love a man who is just not afraid to support his partner in public. And again, like that's, he's not revealing anything crazy. He's not saying anything inappropriate. He's just giving praise to his partner. He is talking about this amazing concert that we all saw him at and it's super nice. It's super great. Jason then went on to kind of tease Travis about where he was recording because as we know, Travis has like a podcast set up in his house, but the um, the podcast background for this episode was different. And <clears throat> of course, Travis wouldn't reveal where he actually is in the world, but he did say, I'm in Europe. So he is still in Europe with Taylor Swift, but he wouldn't reveal where in Europe he was, which obviously makes sense. It's kind of surprising. We have not seen Taylor and Travis once since the conclusion of the Eras tour in Paris. Again, according to this this podcast, we know that they're still overseas, um, but they're probably just hiding out, relaxing, enjoying time together, which is great. They also had the NFL commissioner, (laughs) Roger Goodell, on the podcast very briefly because Jason was recording from the Disney upfronts um, and Roger Goodell happened to be there. And Roger kind of teased Travis about his dancing at the Eras tour because again, it was all over social media. And um, and Roger asked him like where he's gonna be this summer and if he's gonna be at, at more shows. And Travis said, I'm gonna be dancing around. I'm all over the world this off season. I've gotta fly around and have some fun. It's like the yin to my yang. Football, it keeps me locked locked into Kansas City during the season. And you know, I gotta fly around and have some fun in the off season. So as we suspected all along, Travis is gonna be, um, he has obligations in the States. We know he has obligations in Kansas City at, cer- at certain points over the summer. I'm sure he has to do some work here and there. But I think it's also very safe to say, we've said this a thousand times, he's going to just be enjoying Europe in the summer with his girlfriend. And what's that? I mean, there's nothing better than that, to be able to just go to all these amazing places, um, travel, have fun, and take advantage of your off time. Because as he said, when it's football season, he has to be so locked in, there's not much he can do. So it's really cool that he gets to do all of this and uh, 
see as many Eras Tour shows as he wants. Speaking of the Eras Tour, um, Travis also talked about um, kind of like comparing all the different shows he's been to. Because as we've discussed, he's been to Kansas City, Argentina, Australia, Singapore, and now Paris. And he said... I don't know if they're just getting better or if I just keep forgetting how they are. It was electric. It just looks like they're having so much fun up there and they're absolutely killing it and they're putting on a show that you wouldn't get anywhere else. Again, facts. (laughs) Total facts. Um, And I just, I think I've said this a thousand times here and just in general, but like, I just love how much Travis seems to have fun at these concerts and how much he enjoys himself. And I mean, I would love to go to multiple Taylor Swift concerts. I think I would have a great time, but it's a long concert, right? It's three plus hours. Um, And I think we wouldn't, we, I certainly wouldn't judge him if he like needed to take a break, sit down a little bit, relax, but he is just out there dancing, having fun. Enjoying, enjoying himself, which is awesome. Jason made fun of Travis for filming part of the Eras tour with his flash on. We talked about this on Monday's show, how fans caught Travis filming the transition between But Daddy, I Love Him, or not But Daddy, I, um, Who's Afraid of Little Old Me, I think into I Can Do It With a Broken Heart. And he was filming it and his flash was fully on. It was fully bright. <laughs> And Jason said that Travis was pulling a quote, Ed Kelsey, which is the name of their father, Um, which is funny. And I just love that like Jason, I'm sure he's being sent these clips by like the podcast interns and people, but I love that Jason's keeping up with Travis's concert activities like the rest of us. Like that's kind of a deep cut. You wouldn't know that about Travis unless you saw all the tweets about it on social media. So that was very funny. Um, Travis also talked about hanging out with Gigi Hadid and Bradley Cooper. He said he had a blast dancing with a couple. Um, and uh, and he also said, or he also talked about how Bradley and Travis and Jason's mom, Donna Kelsey, recently met. I uh, had a little bonding moment. Um, Travis said he was opening a restaurant and they were doing a fun event. Mom pulled up and so did Bradley's mom which is very fun as well. Um, So I just, the whole thing is so surreal. (laughs) Honestly, I love how much Travis keeps sharing, talking about this experience. I love how much Jason seems interested in the experience. Um, And it's just, it's just great. It's just great. Um, I do wonder when we're going to get Jason and Kylie Kelsey and hopefully their girls to a show. I, I think I've said this on here before, but I have a high, my, my feeling is that there's going to be a lot of people, um, at the London shows when, when she goes to Wembley, I feel like that's where, cause London already, a lot of famous people live in London just anyway. But then also it's like a very easy flight for anyone on the East coast, It's an English speaking country, which listen, I think, you know, people should travel all over the world and experience all different cultures and languages. But I think for Americans, there are some people who are more like, I don't know, they want to go someplace where they speak the language. Um, London's obviously an incredible city. So it wouldn't surprise me if Jason and the family get over for the London shows. Um, Because I, I mean, at this point, they have to go see the show. They have to go see the show. And that would break the internet. We'll definitely recap that on this show, should it ever happen. I've, I think I've also said too that like Patrick, Brittany Mahomes, I think they'll probably make it over to a show this summer as well. Hopefully other Chiefs players, um, other members of Taylor Swift's squad. So it's gonna be great. I can't wait. We obviously have our shows this weekend in Sweden. I think Travis has some obligations in Kansas City this weekend, I believe. So I don't think he will be there for those shows. But again, there's a lot of time left on this Eras tour, a lot of tour stops left to go. So Travis is gonna be just r- raking in those airline miles um, over the next few months, going back and forth, I'm sure. And I cannot wait to watch him jam out at all the other shows. Oh, and um, Jason also brought up the moment where Travis interacted with the fan in the front row who's wearing the Travis Kelsey jersey. Um, which is also cool. And it's just crazy that like Taylor is dating somebody who like fans can wear that person's like merchandise. 
at her concerts. Like what world are we living in? It's absolutely crazy. Um, please let me know in the comments your thoughts on all of Travis's comments and thoughts about the Eras tour. Um, what celebrities do you think will see this summer in Europe? We know that Ryan Reynolds, I think, is going in Madrid. He, he mentioned that this week. Um, so again, lots of people that we'll be seeing. As always, please subscribe to our channel, follow us on social media, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.